Howdy, I'm Jeff Rouse. I'm a prosthodontist in San Antonio and I have an expert tip. The expert tip is teach, share, test, succeed. So what's that all about? Well, we're in Amelia Island. We're talking business. And all the sessions I've been to, the thing that keeps coming out is it sure is hard to work with staff. Is there any clue to working with staff? And this one, this expert tip happens to be working with staff in the operatory and turning my staff in the operatory into my doctor rather than my assistant. I want to make them into the doctor of the operatory. So how do I go about doing that? Well, the first thing I do is teach them. So I don't expect them to know. I want to teach them what I know. So I treat them as if they're a dental student or a first year dental resident in my prosthodontic program when they come in. We're constantly talking about why we're doing certain things, what we're doing, and what our long term goal in the case is. Interestingly, the patient likes overhearing that and actually becomes part of the process as well. The other reason you want to teach your staff is they're going to come to you with experience from somewhere. They assume that that was the best dentist in the city when in fact it's your practice the best in the city. So your ideas need to translate to the staff. And the only way to do that is not to just do it differently. You need to tell them why different is better. The minute you tell them why it's better, now they buy into the concept that I'm in the right place. This is the best spot. So that's teach. The second is share. Once you've taught them how to do a procedure, be it pat, cord, make impressions, put in a sleep appliance, you need to get out of the way because it doesn't do them any good. They don't grow as your doctor in the operatory unless you let them do it. So dentists commonly show them how, but then take over and won't release or relinquish that responsibility to the staff. Allow them to do whatever they can do within the limits of the laws of the state. But they're gonna be buying into it. They'll be the doctor, and the minute they're the doctor, they show up with an enthusiasm for the patient that they don't otherwise have. So that's teaching and sharing. The third is you gotta test them. Two things here. First is you can't just turn them free and go, okay, you're the doctor, go. You've gotta make mid-course corrections along the way. So I will, at a random time, show up in the operatory when they're working and check. I wanna see the provisional. I wanna see how you pack the core. I wanna see that impression. I wanna see that you seeded the appliance correctly. You gotta do it every so often just to make sure they're back in the right direction. The other part of test is something that I do constantly with my staff, not only the ones that are working with me, but everywhere in the practice, is ask them questions. When you're working with a dental assistant, they constantly want to look out the window and get lost in the, in the haze. You got to bring them back into the room. And one great way to do it, instead of saying what you want for the next instrument or the next material, is to ask them, what am I going to ask for next? What will I want next? And as soon as they tell you what you're gonna want next, the best question is, why am I gonna do that? Or what will I do with that material? As soon as they can start answering all those things, now they're actually functioning ahead of you, which is where you want your assistant or your doctor in the operatory. And the last one is success. So we taught them, we shared with them and let them do it, we test them along the way in making sure that they're doing it correctly, but sometimes we don't put them in a position to succeed. I'll give you a couple of examples. First is, I was in a practice recently and they allowed their assistants to pack cord, make impressions, make provisionals. It's great. It's what the state law allows and it really worked well for the practice. The problem is when they taught them to pack cord, they were showing them as the doctor was using magnification because in fact we know the only way to properly pack cord is if you can see where the cord is going. Once they taught them how to do it and showed them all the steps, they backed away and then let the assistant do it. She didn't have any magnification. There's no way that an assistant is going to do it effectively. Occasionally, they'll end up missing a margin. You'll end up having tissue laying over the crown. It just won't be an appropriate impression. And what the doctor routinely will do is take that responsibility away from that assistant. So all the testing and the teaching and the sharing goes away because you didn't set them up to succeed. Give them the tools they need. If you want them to pack the cord, give them magnification. If you want them to make impressions that are incredibly accurate and pour up really good casts, provide them a lab support. Don't put them in a closet. So test them, share, excuse me, trust them with this and 
teach them what you want them to do, and then share the responsibility with them to make them a doctor. Test them along the way to make sure they're doing it correctly and put them in a position to succeed. That way you get your doctor that you're after in your operatory.